You're a fucker. Wow. Put that down in the annals of history of one-liners. You nailed it, buddy. Uh, where even are we right now? Okay, so just keep running. Whenever we hide, we just run afterwards anyway. What's even accomplishing? Honestly, it's like a it's like a coin flip flip of ambiguity. Like who knows what they exactly mean by it? Hello. Scary spikes. You could get over those. I believe in you. If that's your goal. We've decided we no longer have to run anymore. Let's not play the piano. There are bears around here. <laughs> this continued question of whether or not there are bears around. You're not gonna fucking play the piano, right? You gonna look at something? No. Uh, watch that be some kind of infuriating secret that's actually like key to getting some kind of good ending or something. But I'm just like, why would you play the piano? You're running and hiding. It's kind of dark in this area. We don't really have that like smooth contrast that the, uh, the lake scene had when I was putting that out. Well... How do you do it? We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. Oh, right. She's infected, so she's not gonna die. Yet. Did I just snap his whole wrist? His, his movement looks weird. Yeah, fighting her is actually a really bad idea, isn't it? Hmm. The light's not working out for her. You like how I chose run and she just stood there? Because some of these some of these options are kind of just lies. Wow. Oh. So in this moment, he would have died, right? The cages are even pointing at each other. Like he would be so fucked. Was that... Which friend was that, though? Was it the vlogger, or was it Nick? Where are you? Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Shoot her. Take her face off. You know what she did to Kaylee? And she killed your mother, too. Wait! Uh. 
now she runs, I guess? That was like a very slow run from me picking it way earlier, maybe? Not totally sure if that scene has variability or not. I swear the loading screens just don't finish the job or something. The beginning of every scene just struggles for a bit. I wonder why. This is not a fair match. If you want to kill me so bad, why did you not finish it? Like... <laughs> he does not close things behind him. Oof. Narrowly avoided a knife poking into something moment. Oh, if I fuck up a single time, does he hit the knife against something and then alert him to his location? Well, golly, I think he might have gone through the giant man-shaped hole. I don't know how well he could hold his breath with a knife in his lungs. Or wherever that is. Where is that? How does that work out anatomically for him? Would you like to hear your entire heartbeat? Yeah, getting down was really bad. He's, oh, he's, on, he's all bent and weird. Help me. I do? Yeah, I promise. I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. Stab? That Please. can't work. You stole my knife. Oh, he took it out anyway. You've been bit. Pick on someone your own size. Travis! Oh, oh, easy. Easy. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. That's really bad that the oh. knife is out. How bad is it? So sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? Can you bite him? I'm trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? I didn't want to say it. Uh, I think you need to bite him. <sighs> it's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? It will heal if you bite him. Have the thought. Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. 
If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's not it's looking great, is it? For now. So we doing this or no? Do it. And then you've got to now you got to bite Bill, Dylan so he can have a hand again. Kind of an extreme grow back, uh, but an I grew back, so nice and tender for you. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. Fuck. We gotta go. What? You got it. Once he fell down, I'm like, oh, there's no way of getting up again that isn't like a lot of twisting your body that has a knife in it. He was doing so good specifically because he never fell over up till then. They gotta split up though, like if she transforms, she's gonna like start attacking him, right? Hey Dylan. How's this scene work out if you uh, did not get your hand severed. I guess you're just running around as a wolf right now. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Well, lucky enough to not have anything really go wrong here. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. <laughs> anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. I've had the thought a few times, but I'm just like, how fucking tall is Dylan? I don't know if I can accept the missing hand and him just coming, just going around. I, I don't know. Genre fiction, just go with it, I guess. But I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if someone could just be up in a vat. Again, how well did they bind it? Is he really that okay? Oop. That's startling every time that happens. Guess we're not exactly going to be stealthy if anyone's around. It's hard to defeat motion lights. I figure the active garage is actually a decent chance. What is that button? in a documentary. No! Shut up. Come on, let's go. What do I know her voice from? It's, it feels so recognizable. Mm. 
mostly tires up here. I don't know why we split up. There was three of us together, and now one of them, one of us is just alone, because these sons of bitches had it all planned out. They knew when the full moon was. this off the books. Who's tea? Mm. Looks like these guys were cooking the books. Trevor. <laughs> Dodgy. You said it. So Trevor Hackett found the SUV for the two hikers and said to keep it off the books. That means we might be able to find the SUV, which was a working vehicle and not a scrapped vehicle. If it's still here. If we have that, then we don't even need to fix the one back home. Home? Alright, whatever. I'm a little nervous that that suspicious tunnel-shaped piece is going to collapse and separate us. Well, she's finally the one with the gun. After being established in the first place as being the one who is good with guns, they weirdly wouldn't let her have the gun. Oh, it is dark in here. They almost feel like alternate escape routes. For if the wolf the wolf finds us. Or one of the wolves. I assume both kids are a wolf and Chris is a wolf. And the rest of the family doesn't seem to be wolves. Brian's okay. He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. But since it seems like he could have been a wolf, I'm assuming that the other girl might be the POV character in this chapter. Otherwise, but since he's here, she just is gonna hang out in that cellar now. The height difference is severe. Hey, well, she's just going back the way we came. We should go a new direction. I gotta say, kind of banking on this SUV will find this completely intact, because uh, at the moment it feels like we're not even trying to look anywhere. I don't see prompts to check any of these cars. I thought we were going to try to check all of their engines for this one part. I guess I can't go this way. It looked like a shimmy thing. He completely fucked us by dropping it in the lake. How did he drop it in the lake, though? He was in his underwear. I'm so confused about that still, too. Was it in his underwear? Or did his clothes fall in the lake? Look. That is a whole ass SUV. Did his clothes fall in the lake when he got pulled in, in that scene? I missed that if that's what happened. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh-oh, I hear that now. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. She's a better shot than you are. And you're missing an entire hand. I don't even think you can use a gun. You're the biggest nerd of this entire game, as far as we can tell. You're probably afraid of guns. Okay, she could be closer, though. Right. Looks like somebody's mom... Never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Dude, no one's here. You're just doing this for yourself now. Okay, let's see what we're working with. 
All right, not too complicated. She could be up there with him to cover him. Go back, grab her. What the hell is going on? My bad. Oh, okay. All right. Radio's loud, but this was always going to be loud. That, that, that'll make a quiet mode for fucking cranes. Is there space to drive out of here? This whole place seemed pretty... crowded. You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Oh. Lift car. Oh, because she's in it. That's better. What? Stop! 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 You idiot! I the car! That was fast thinking. Oh, oh. no, Get that's not good. Get the damn werewolf off the damn car! Uh, yeah. you have the gun still, right? Oh. Please use the gun. Uh, uh. What are you going? What? What, we, what does slam car mean? Oh! Oh. What happened to the gun? Why didn't she- Oh no. Are you gonna crush him? Is this gonna happen? Uh, goodbye- Goodbye the car we could have just driven away in. Come on. This is stressful. <laughs> Huh. Which wolf was that? They're also probably still alive. We need to get the thing and leave. I figured warning wouldn't be enough. Because where would she go or do? But how, I don't know how she lost the gun. Is she, did she lose it inside? There, there it is again. Thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. What? Nuts. <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. Aren't you looking for a part? Okay, the car doesn't work. We don't want the car. We want the part. Did you forget? Because, yeah, escaping in the car would have been nice. I probably had to let you die to do that, though. But we're trying to fix the one back there, right? The arm thing. It was a small part. Why didn't I? I don't, I'm confused why we weren't checking uh, engines for the, the, the part. That's a working car. It's probably still in there. You should go be a counselor at summer camp, Abby. You'll learn how to interact with people better, and you'll have loads of fun and make friends for life. I do not accept that spelling of Abby. I'm so sick of people telling me. What do you do now? Hide. Hello? Is anyone there? Hi. 
It feels like we split up just because there had to be two characters in that scene and nobody else could be there. <laughs> and they wanted to have the crane scene. Hope it holds. Is it even locked in any way from the inside? Alright, where's the prompt for this one? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Bad news. I don't know what that was, though. But you've unwittingly gone directly to the worst location you could have gone, in some ways. And this might be where Chris is. No, well, no. We verified... Because um, there's so many names. But Abby's here. We verified with Eyepatch that... Uh, was her name Lauren? That Chris wasn't here because she already looked for him. So it's probably not a wolf in here. But this is where they would have a wolf. That's why the lights went out. Thunder must have come this way before he attacked us upstairs. So they have drop, dropped bullets. The shotgun shells that are full of, like, ball bearings? Are they silver? Or a different metal? She took Abby's... Trap door. Oh yeah, this is the same one from earlier. I figured it was. She took her neck necklace and her bracelet and put it inside of a shell, right? Does she have the shell? Who has the shell? Welp. Welcome to the office. You could have come here the normal way, but you took a very specific route. I would recommend hiding in the weird control room. It seems kind of obscure enough that they probably wouldn't look for you in there. If, I, if there's anywhere in this place I would hide, it's there. In a hurry? Man, this place is huge. My needs to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. What? Am I looking at? That is extremely center stage. It it'd be hard to notice anything else in this room. What am I what is that? Watch your step. Yep. What what is that? What was that? You guys don't see him? I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Well, this is just a comedy of errors at this point. Might as well play Looney Tune sounds as they fall. She, she's about to explode. Can somebody please have silver? Well... How effective is silver? Just any silver? Well, there goes Bobby. Can you tell which one's Chris and which one's... Uh oh. Was that Chris? Oh, it's a good sign. Did he heal? Thanks. For uh, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So. What now? Everyone's back to normal? What? Oh, he doesn't know what happened. <laughs> you think this is over? This isn't over. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? I don't understand. Chris is dead. Oh. Huh. Oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Of course it's possible. What? Caleb. <laughs> Kaylee. The girl you killed. Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. I've been tracking him for years. Oh, don't say that word. A gypsy. No. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child. Giant white wolf. White wolf. What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! At the, the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. That one was white? Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We... We can help those who are still alive. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive, anyway. So I think Silas would have been the one that attacked okay. Dylan? So, where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. So if Dylan let's changed, we'd need to kill Silas. What you did to me. I understand. 
Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? I don't know who attacked Nick. It'd be a lot easier to tell white the white wolf from other wolves if they looked like werewolves, but they they're mostly people. You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? Oh, you're the ghost, aren't so, you? The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. So I think she's the ghost and she cursed the family. The Hierophant? Where did you find this? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. It was My easy boy. easy to find. You see what that did to us? What? What is happening? Six years ago. No. Oh. What have they done? Cause Silas was the name of the dog in the thing. What have they done? The dog boy. I don't know. Silas, my boy. Oh, oh. Ah. Oh. Oop. Well, okay. Oh. Sheriff's badge? What is that for? Is that... Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 So that was the sheriff? And the dog boy is actually out there. Still. And that's why she put the stuff on her face, because she has to find him and not get killed? Tower. No, no, no. My poor boy. Did you see what that did to us? How they 
hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon, they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid children. Little Silas. My little white wolf. He must be protected. He must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? Remember you really, you really have I not helped. helped you. you haven't really helped me a single time. But it is fucked up and sad. But also, maybe he's a nightmare that shouldn't just be, like, traveling around in a circus? You obviously care about him, because you're really invested, but... Oh, hey. Okay. Laura! S sit down or something. You're still standing. I was right to think that they can climb trees and that was a bad place to hide. How the hell am I gonna get down? Asked an answer. You goofy shit. <laughs> can you <laughs> try a little harder? He's in danger if he leaves. <clears throat> Is the vlogger dead or a wolf? Right, so that's why the bags were here. You don't want to like get in the water a little bit before you get your clothes? Wait, who's... whose clothes are these? I enjoy the continued commitment to crop tops throughout this entire playthrough. Uh, and now we're getting some real equal opportunity going on, which I appreciate. But... Why... Why isn't it his bag? Who's... <laughs> the vlogger didn't bring her bags with her. I'm confused. And where's her body? Did she turn into a wolf? And now she's alive somewhere? Or is she dead? So I'm not super clear on if she went the way of Nick or not. Because she might have gotten really fucked up and maybe you do just die at that point eventually. This is uh, not a great path. Boop, camera. I guess I'll go this way. I imagine he may not be entirely safe. Because Silas is out here somewhere. And he doesn't even know Silas exists. Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah, that would have skipped the entire plot. Although apparently you still would have gotten stuck here because of some fuckface. Oh, she's alive. Oh, fuck! I think. Oh no. I mean, she's not very gory looking. Who are these people that don't lock their phones? Y'all, lock your phones in movies and games.
you gonna wake her up or? <laughs> wake her up, you prick. I... Oh, is she dead? Her eyes are open. I think she's dead. I was like, there's just like a there's like a trickle of blood a little bit. She just didn't look that wounded or anything. I thought she got torn apart. Oh right, she was already stripped down. I guess she's dead then. Okay. Huh. That was that was uncertain for me. I know that they showed a skull, but I wasn't actually completely sure how they're gonna treat that. Uh, oh, this way. And I thought, oh, she's in her underwear because she exploded out of her clothes like everybody else. But I, I guess, yeah, she was already in her underwear. Because of the uh, skinny dipping. Not really skinny dipping. I'm amused by the fact that there is a... But there's a potential gay couple in this game. This guy's having a moment right now. And earlier, uh, Jake was doing the, like, showing off bulge and doing a bunch of poses and so on. You're like, all right. Is that a fucking ponytail hole? <laughs> yeah, just put it on, why not? This is the future liberals want, the gay agenda in video games. Honestly, he's rocking it, so... Might as well just work this into his, uh, his outfits. Just gonna go for a swim. Uh, you should stay. You should not go to shore because you will die because Silas is out there and you don't understand what's happening. I'm looking out for you, buddy. Don't worry, I'm God. Uh, I know it's a bad idea for you to go back to the shore. If Laura's alive, she'll find you by the end. The table, help me. They really gave up on the entire plan. I don't. I feel like they don't remember what their own plan was about the the scrapyard. Okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. It gives us a little time. But also, we they don't like water. Remember? Right, right. Yeah, the rain's good. Oh, which which wolf attacked them? Swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. Oh, okay. You don't need to. All right. Well, we're good now. Lampshade. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. Just go to the island. You gotta get a vantage point. Oh, I know that you 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 think that there's monsters in the island, but they're saved now. But you don't know that. Damn it. Maybe I missed something, but I really feel like they just completely flubbed their entire goal with the scrapyard and just like forgot what they were actually there for. I swear they were there for the part, right? Now they're just kind of flailing. Did you guys not check the cellar for your friend, by the way? Abby? Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? The big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? You just said right, that. Right. It's a 
whole family. If no one, if they don't want to get anyone hurt, why do they bring people here in the first place? They just bring a bunch of kids to the most dangerous part of the uh, that they could possibly take people to. Okay, I'm gonna level with you. It's getting really dark. <laughs> if you're having trouble seeing, it's because I'm also having trouble seeing. He's so fucking tall. We don't really have a goal right now, right? We're just kind of... The people that have the least understanding of the plot are just kind of hanging out. And we just hope they don't die. They're probably my two favorite characters, but they uh, got extremely sidelined. Right, there's a hustle button. It is distracting how tall he is. a very weird sight. Oop. Some of these rooms are messes. Oh, all the crafting supplies are still out. This might be our first full look at this place. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, hindsight. Sounds about right. Ian. Ian was a sheep? Memorial of the deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the looks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep, though nobody got to meet him this year. Oh. We have a camp mascot? But no, we did. We eat him here? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Because Chris ate him. Mr. H was counting sheep. This place is so big. Where have I seen this emblem before? I don't know, I still can't see it. Is it here? Uh, it's still really hard to make out. Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription reveals that it belonged to Bobby Hackett. I'm, con I'm still confused about the scuffle that they referenced, but I, I didn't see. Because all she did was sneak around for a bit, and then he, he took her gun. And then she ran away again. Oh, there was there was the scuffle where uh, Nick choked him for a moment? That wasn't this room, though, was it? What is it? A ring with a crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Yeah, I don't think this is where they were. It was like a bedroom. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. We well, yeah, the last one was like yesterday. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, uh, RIP microphone. <laughs> Playing with that was a weird call, given that you think something might come after you. I guess they're counting on the rain. What's this? Trail cam footage. It's like they're looking for something. Because they're always looking for Silas. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room. He's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Mm, we have five. Six years. Yep, they're looking for Silas. 
every full moon. What is Silas doing the rest of the year? This is maybe, maybe the most Friday the 13th thing in the game. Because vaguely what I remember about Friday the 13th is just the, uh... The, like, the mother that's taking revenge for the son that was attacked. I think in the first movie, like, all along it was the mother. But then bizarrely they're like, and also it was the son. And, like, the son's, like, the one in the second movie or something and so on. It's like the series about Jason. I think the first movie's not actually Jason. But it's the mother's revenge for this, like, disfigured son. Like, it feels like we're wrapping back into the original thing you would have think been thought been thinking this was all about once you set up, like, the Camp Counselor premise, because that's the Camp Counselor franchise. What are we looking for? Also, can we please have flashlights or something? It's really fucking dark. How long has this guy been here? Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride of place on the Lodge's chimney column. 10 out of 19. Not amazing, but it's there. Uh, yeah, there's a bit here. I don't think I know what our if we have any kind of real goal. Who has the fireworks, right? Like, we grabbed fireworks. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> I think we might be done. I've been looking for a while. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That meets for life, we're proud to we're say. Safe. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hackateers. Two months and you never learn the words. <laughs> Here comes the white wolf. Down the chimney? The one they had to fix? Showtime, motherfuckers. They talked about having some kind of repair or something for the chimney, right? Huh. 